Happy Thursday evening, everybody. It is about 9.30. Uh, we've been home about an hour. It has been a very, very busy week, a busy day. Uh, just got back from my granddaughter's final fifth grade chorus concert. Concert slash a little play that they put on. And uh, <laughs> it was awesome. Very, very good job for those kids. They worked really hard. A very entertaining show. And the whole tribe was there again. And we had a blast. All right. Uh, this morning, went to the doctor. Now I got the results of my blood work and all I had done last week. The blood pressure is still high. He adjusted my meds just a little bit. That should take care of it. Uh, the only other trouble I was having was I've been having leg cramps for a few months. And we talked about some home remedies. You know, the pickle juice, uh, cider vinegar, that type of thing. My potassium is not out of whack at all. It's perfect, right where it's supposed to be. So the banana thing is, won't help it any. Anyway, I started that when we got home today for lunch. I had a big deal pickle and about that much pickle juice in glass, which I like pickle juice anyway. And within two hours, my legs started feeling a lot better. So I do that once a day for a while, and uh, we'll see how that works. See, my cholesterol was has been in bad shape for a long time. It dropped down into the normal range. Triglycerides dropped uh, over 200 points. Uh, everything else, liver function, kidney function, all that is right in line where it's supposed to be. Now, since I was there about six months ago, uh, we really tried to cut back on a lot of fried food, which I love fried foods. Almost anything you put in front of me, drop it in the grease and fry it, and I like it. So we got away from all of that. Not all of it, but a lot of it. I doubled up on my fish oil. I've been eating a lot of fish. Now that helps. And so with diet, it has um, it really helped out. Even though once in a while I'm going to have my fried foods and fish, unless it's canned fish. Uh, if I'm going to eat fish, it's going to be fried. So that's, that's the southern way to do it. But, uh, speaking of fish, I haven't had time to go catch any, so I haven't been eating any fried fish anyway. So, <laughs> but Anyway, doctor report was very good. He was satisfied, I was satisfied, and I don't have to go back to see him for six more months. And we just hope the blood work stays like it is now. If it does, and the blood pressure evens out, I'll be okay. Now somebody asked me what stage of COPD I'm in. I forgot to ask the doctor. I think it's a stage three, if I remember somebody said. Which um, means I have, to, I have to be careful with that. I have to be careful with getting overheated, uh, dust, dirt, you know, pollen, dust, you know, all that kind of stuff. But everything looked okay. And see what else happened today. That's about all. So, uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it can be dangerous. Oh, big thoughts, big prayers to everybody up through Missouri. Missouri all the way down through Texas, all where all them storms are going through. I uh, feel so bad for y'all. Uh, because I know how you feel. Uh, Praying everybody's okay. Uh, I can't get a lot of live time news from up there because we don't have live news, live TV anymore. Uh, we have the Roku thing. Uh, we canceled the live thing a good while back just because of the expense mainly. Because what we have now, we can watch the channels we like to see, but a lot of times we, we get them a day late or a week late or something like that. Even online, on YouTube, on the internet, I can't find exactly what I want for live news coverage or things like that. So we may go back to 
something similar to what we had. It'll cost a little bit, but I like know, you know, knowing what's going on. I can't even get live channels now. I mean, local channels, the way it is. This thing, the last count was over 100 people out here in my area that has lost the phone signal almost completely. I drive two miles up the road, full signal, perfect. Uh, and it's not just my carrier. The carrier on mine is AT&T. My wife's is, eight, is a Verizon. Same thing. My daughter, they've got the high dollar big phones, you know, with all the whatever iPhones, whatever they are. I don't know what they are. Mine's a cheap old Walmart. And in this area out here, they're the same way. We can get through Wi-Fi. You can get on, um, you know, the social media stuff, but not the actual telephone to actually talk to somebody. Um, so there's been a bunch of complaints lodged, and I don't know what's going to happen, but. We may have to go back to a hard line, landline phone for the house uh, because if God forbid something happens and I've got to pick it up and call 911 the way it is right now, I can't call anybody. I called my brother Larry today uh, from town just to let him know I was alive. Because um, even text on this thing, even text mine and the wife's and all, and send a text message now and they'll get it tomorrow sometime so uh, we got to find a solution to that but anyway like I said the other day if one of my telephone buddies if I don't answer they said they tell me it's going straight to voicemail and there's nothing I can do I've done everything I can do so we'll see what happens now let's look at this knife of Eli that is finished finished except for the very, very, very final sharpening. If it's sharp, it's got to be finished up at home up to And I'll do that the day before it ships. That way I won't forget to do it. Alright, y'all ready to see it? There we go right there. Solid leather. Now this is a back strap. It's not adjusted just right, just yet. I'll get it adjusted. Right, it slings over your back. Something like this. Or it has a belt loop. Carry it on your belt if you want. Ready? There it is right there. Now this was a real enjoyable project to do. And this is my version of the movie knife. Seen the movie, The Book of Eli? This is my version. Now it's not exactly like the movie knife. The movie knife had a great big belly down here. And the gentleman that ordered this is a wilderness outfitter, a guide. And he's actually going to use this. So for practical using purposes. It comes down, it's got a it's got a belly in there. It is weight heavy up here for chopping. That's what it's for. It's made to chop. Now this is 1095 high carbon steel. 3 8 The handle is a very thin oak wood handle. Brass pins. And it is wrapped with leather and this is all one piece of leather my mama dyed it for me after we did some trial and error on it green for military blue for uh, law enforcement red firefighters first responders lanyard cord and using it to keep from flying out of your hand now these holes are not just for decoration. Chop something hard and heavy. These holes will actually take up some of the shop. And, uh, well there it is. I think it come out very, very nice. 
Now our family photographer, my newest daughter-in-law, is going to take some pictures of it for me this weekend. I'm going to set my little thing back up out here so she can take some good pictures. Now if you're interested in one of these, I'll ask you to excuse me, private message me or email me for a price because this is not inexpensive. This is a very expensive knife. But it is a very, very good knife. Very good investment. One of these will last you forever. And when I get it adjusted, I'll cut this off. It's got a clip. Where you clip it, and if you need to, you can actually, if you want to use the belt loop option, to just take this off, take the strap out, belt loop it, put this on as you need or strap it to your pack, whatever. So, big logo on the front. Very pleased with it. Did very well. Now, y'all, let's, um, let's say some prayers for our, uh, our old buddy, the Master Sergeant. He is still a little bit down. He did stop by the other day for just a few minutes. He can't walk around real good. He's having trouble with one of his feet. And if he messes with me again, I'm going to stomp on the other one like I did that one. But, uh, <laughs> no, not really. He's got um, uh, something wrong with one of his feet. He's been to the doctor and they're treating him for it and see. But um, as soon as he gets better, he says he's going to be back over. I uh, chatted with him on the, the Facebook chat thing today. So he's not sick sick. He's just having trouble getting around right now with that, with that foot. Don't know what he did to it. But they did, he said they did an MRI or an ultrasound, I mean, ultrasound and an x-ray. Nothing's broken, nothing's strained. No blood clots, nothing like that. It's just swollen up and sore. So, uh, if I was a foot and attached to that, I'd be sore too. But, uh, <laughs> Anyway, hurry up and get well, buddy. I need you back over here. Uh, Y'all do that for me, please. Put him on your prayer list. And see what else. I'm still wide open on orders. Tomorrow, I'm going to work on a boat in between doing this. I'm going to start roughing out some blades. This material right here. A little cross cut steel. This is excellent, excellent steel. I've got one traced out. Once it gets annealed, that is the original, original design camp knife. I'll make a couple of those, a couple of Hoosiers, a couple of utilities, a couple of whatever y'all want. I have a very cool dangler sheath to make. I'll get on that before the weekend's over. And I'll get back on the boat before the weekend's over. I've got lots and lots of stuff to do. And I'll get all of it did. So, place your orders. I would appreciate it. And as I get along on these here, I'll show them to you. And we do have plenty of that, that old um, cross-cut steel. So, we'll have some knives to look at here and there. Now, I've talked long enough. It's about time to go in and get on my short legged pants, sit back in my recliner, and y'all know what happens when I sit in that thing. Because I've not slept well the last couple of nights. The brain goes like the hamster running in the wheel, but I've got hamsters running this way and one running that way, or whatever. Y'all know what I mean. All right, I'll shut up. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll see y'all tomorrow or the next day.